all this love and nutrients that go in to producing such a majestic plant. Farmer Lee Jones uh, is going to walk us through two seasonal, two seasonal choices today. But I love that you're starting with the much maligned Brussels sprouts. I adore Brussels sprouts, by the way. To me, this is better than a bouquet of roses. Uh, but I love this because, Lee, last time you really loved sharing with people uh, what to do with eggplant because you think it's underappreciated. Wouldn't you agree that that's true of the Brussels sprout as well? Absolutely. It's very underrated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that people get turned off by a Brussels sprout because they eat it too early. You know, it is in the cabbage family. It's in the cruciferous family. And one of the things you want to make sure of is if it smells, yes, I'm going to tell you, you want to smell your vegetables, <laughs> but smell them. And if it smells too cabbagey, it's too far gone. Mm -hmm. But we love to eat them. And I think a lot of people eat them before the frost. We're right at that time of the year where Mother Nature provides such a natural rhythm that if you get the frost, the, actually the sweetness goes up in the Brussels sprout. And if you can, the absolute best way to get them is get them on the stalk. And, you know, one of the things that I think people uh, don't realize is that, you know, there's all this energy and all this love and nutrients that go in to producing such a majestic plant. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. It's all, it's all You know, we want to be always mindful about reducing waste. And one of the things we can do is look at the plant and recognize different ways that we can use it. These leaves, I would defy your listeners, if you blindfolded them right now and gave them a taste test between a collard green and a Brussels sprout, you would not be able to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. So all of these leaves are edible too. But when you're looking for the Brussels sprout, we tend to like to pick them small, just like you have there in front of you. And we even have a purple one. They're you gorgeous. know, one of the things you want, they really are. And one of the things you want to stay away from is you see how this is kind of loose leafed or if you've got browning or a little bit too cabbage smelling, stay away from those. Stay away from the yellowing. Look for nice, bright green tight heads. And one of the things you want to do when you're cooking them, you know, the Brussels sprouts, when they're on the stalk, they're bigger at the bottom and they're smaller at the top. We can get them all the way down to like the size of a BB. And then some applications are great, but when you're cooking them, if you think about that, the big ones are going to take longer to cook. Okay. So if you've got a big one, cut that thing in half or quarter it, and that way they'll all cook at the same time. I, I love to saute them, but honestly, we're seeing more and more kales and cabbages go in salad. Any of this stuff that we could eat raw, we're going to get 50% more of the nutritional value. Just peeling off the leaves and putting those in your salad is yeah, a great way I, to be I, able to incorporate them in. I agree. I love to make Caesar salad with Brussels. Pull them all apart and make a Caesar-type dressing for it. I love that. And I like to just roast them but under cook them a little. I do a very high temp and char them, but I still like a little bite to it. It's so simple. You know, a little nutmeg and olive oil and salt and pepper. But it's so tasty to me. Uh, what, what's yeah, you your can favorite throw those way? things right on the grill. We love to just take them if we've got a fire pit this time of year. You know, and in the cooler temperatures and you got a fire pit, throw the winter squash, the fall squash on, but throw the whole stock of Brussels sprout on. Wow. And get them almost black and Ooh, brown. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. I love that. Now that's a you fire. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Them. So now we're going to talk about, you know, like Popeye made spinach popular for kids back in the day, but you're, you're trying to make, you're trying to bring like, kind of like Timberlake brings sexy back. You're going to bring spinach back. <laughs> what do you love to do with spinach, Lee? <laughs> hey, you know, I love to eat it raw. Mm. Um, you want to look, and this is a variety we call Savoy. I don't like the flat leaf. There's no body to it. Yeah. But this, if you can almost, I'm going to see if you can hear this. It's just so full of life and body and crunch and texture. Mm. It's so sexy. Look at him. <laughs> Is he not the best? It takes Lee to make spinach sexy. Yeah.